And now let's have a chat. Our friend Patty Gregory, Haven Group, Haven Realty is with us. Good morning, Patty. Good morning. So you're out there on the street talking real estate with everybody that you come in contact with. We're seeing, we saw a report that came out, and, and I'm here in Southern California, as you are. Channel 5 said that the median home price is dropping in a report yesterday. Are you seeing prices drop? I am not seeing that at all. Yeah, it's uh, I, I, I wonder sometimes. Now, do you, are you seeing more people shopping or, or looking at the lower end of the price spectrum or at the higher end of the price spectrum? Well, I have, because I work all over Orange County from the beach to, you know, to Yorba Linda, I see kind of everything. Overall, I, over the last two weeks, I've seen it pick up. Okay, and so on both markets. both markets are picking up now. Are you is yeah. that on buyers out there Sell. shopping or or sellers looking to, to to sell property? Actually, both. So I had two listing appointments this week that are coming on the market, but I also had three buyers that are getting um, ready. But they're they're engaging more. They're asking more questions. So I have them set up on my on my website so I can monitor everybody. And um, they're saying, yes, send me blank, send me blank. So I think they're getting ready. And they are still waiting for interest rates to come down, no matter how many times I do the math <laughs> and tell them you're going to pay more if you wait. You can always refinance later. So, but they're, they're getting it. All right, that, that's what I was wondering because we had a, a, a little bit of a debate yesterday <clears throat> over, the, over the, my, my hypothesis or my thesis was that people are starting to uh, realize that interest rates are interest rates. They are what they are. And we're not going to change it. And they're not going to go down a lot. Um, and I, I, my, thinking, my thing is, since they've been where they've been, you know, a year and a half now, that people are starting to say, okay, well, if I want a new house, I'm going to have to just bite the bullet. Are you seeing something like that? Or, right. or are they just going to wait? I think so. You know, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday that, oh, it's 7%, it's so high, I'm not, like, no, <laughs> it's not. If you look back, historically, that's on the lower end. You, they've got to forget right. the twos. Unless you're in the two, it's it's not even relevant. Well, and what, one of the things that I, I ask folks frequently when they tell me, well, I'm going to wait for it to go down that far, is, number <laughs> one, what causes rates to drop like that? Right? It's, it's a very, very bad economy. Do we really want a very, very bad economy? Exactly. Right? I mean, that's why that's why rates dropped that low from COVID. Do we want to go back to COVID days? I, I don't think so. <laughs> um, we saw rates drop that way in the Great Recession when we had a lot of people, you know, like, I, ironically enough, think about this. I haven't talked to anybody about this, Patty, but maybe you'll have a thought on this. During the days of the Great Recession, which was – a, a recession caused by real estate. It wasn't real estate values dropping because of a recession. But people got into very low rate, adjustable rate loans. And then when they started to um, normalize, they couldn't afford the normalize. They couldn't afford the payment after that teaser payment was gone. And you wonder how many people are going to start looking and trying to say, well, you know something? I'm going to go into an adjustable rate mortgage right now, and might they get the same shock that happened then? Could very well happen again. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I just, I just, I'm just curious about thoughts on things like that. Does, does anybody even talk about it? We see it in commercial right so now. About it. One you thing we're talking about is no, I haven't heard. I don't think anybody's asked me about an adjustable rate mortgage in months. Okay. Smart. They're smart. Yeah. You're starting to say you're starting to hear you're starting to hear people see other things. Well, so I, I send out active listings every week. And um, you know, what I call a shiny penny house, those are still flying off the off the shelf in a few days. But then the ones that are on the market for you know 30, 40 days, those are the ones where we can do our buy-down loans. So I remind people if we look in that category. We've got a better opportunity, and then with rates at seven, they've got a. That's a great opportunity. We well, think some of the buy downs that we've been doing lately have been buying down a point and a half, 
So you think about that. If you're if we're able to, to negotiate a, a one and a half point buy down on a seven percent loan, we're looking at you That's know huge. five and a half, five and three quarters. That's a great rate for right now. Yeah, nobody can argue with that one. <laughs> no, it's a uh, and and it's being done all the time. In fact, we're going to come out with a a piece, uh, probably the first part of next week, a buyer's guide, and show you know um, point by point where people can act, should actually be looking. So if they're looking, and I don't, I've never looked at your uh, the stuff that you're sending out, but does it tell somebody how many days on market a property's been there? Yeah, we can set up a specific search for that. So if I were to call you and say, Patty, I only want to look at properties that have been on the market for 25 days or more. Yeah, like, it's super that's, easy, yes. That's probably, and so those are going to be people that listed their property at a price. They might have even listed it higher than market value. Right? Probably. And they're just saying, I'm going to try and to get And now they're getting a reality price. check. Yes. Ah, that's they're getting a reality check. So if we go in at it, just from your perspective, Patty, if you go in at a full price offer and ask for, say, a 5% concession, is that going to be more enticing than going in at a 5% below list price? Oh, a hundred percent because their payment's going to be so much less. But what about from the seller standpoint? What is the seller going to think? You know, they're still getting their price. So there's a lot of ego in selling. And right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I sold my house for blank. Yeah. So and that that's exactly what I'm wondering is, is it makes it a little easier. And they because can you, practice buyer as well. Ah, so you got bragging right. Yeah, and, and you can market a property as, as having a uh, seller seller assisted payment plan. Yep, makes makes for a you know, I always shoot for happy people on both sides. So you want everybody to get what they want as close as possible because then sure. it's just better for everyone. Yeah. Better for everyone. I Great information. We're going to continue our conversation with Patty Gregory when we come back. Continue our conversation chatting with Patty Gregory this morning. She is a, one, one of those people that I just mentioned. If you want great information and you want to know what's really going on in your neighborhood, not what's going on, doesn't matter. When I, you know, I give you national numbers, and the numbers I just gave you are national. If you want your neighborhood, call Patty. She'll be able to tell you what's going on exactly in your neighborhood because maybe the values are, are going up more than the national numbers. We're in Southern California. Our prices appreciate more than the national average. So you got to talk to somebody who knows what's going on on your street. Just uh, so just a bottom line. Patty, do you have people that are telling you that they're hearing about any of this going, the property values dropping or they're waiting for property values to drop? Two this week. <laughs> Two this week. And, you know, I think uh, to this week, I think the interest rate drops, you know, can can buck that trend a little, too, because it's going to drive up demand as interest rates drop. So that's what I'm seeing on the ground. Well, here's my here's my and you worry. Know, with you said, Orange County. Go ahead. What? We have a little delay here. So go ahead. Well, Orange County is so diverse. And you know, every pocket, every neighborhood is so specific. And so knowing your neighborhood is very important, like you said. Yeah, it'd be hard to to really um compare, and I'm not putting down or, or promoting any of the neighborhoods, but can you imagine trying to compare what's going on in Garden Grove or Stanton with what's going on in Newport Beach or Laguna Beach? Right, exactly. They're radically different clientele, marketplaces, prices, the whole nine yards. But I want to throw another thought at you, Patty, and get your get your thoughts on this. So, as interest rates go up, we get people that become paralyzed and don't want to do anything. They're going to wait for rates to go down. As interest rates have stabilized. You know, maybe for the last, you know, they've been, they've been kind of in the sevens, mid sevens to mid eights for, you know, several months now. People are starting to say, okay, maybe they're going to stay there. So they start getting back there and getting active. As we now start seeing interest rates drop, do you think that the people are going to say, well, I'm going to wait for it to drop even further? Could that be the case? I think the people that have needed to move, like we're working with a client that just had a baby. Those are the ones that are going to pull the trigger now. The other ones are probably, yes, waiting for it to drop more. Maybe at least in the sixes. 
So we're back to the we're back to our our favorite conversation, which is the six yes. Ds. Right. So yeah, absolutely. Now, is that what you're seeing? Is it when you're, you know, you you'd mentioned having a couple of new properties that you're going to be helping people sell, and you've got some pe- families that are looking to buy. Are are there situations mostly in that six Ds have to c- scenario, or are they yes. want to? Baby job transfer. Those okay. are the two listings I'm coming up. Baby and job transfer. Yeah. So. So those are people that really they, they have a there's a catalyst for their for their activity. Okay. Yes. So we haven't got we to the point where somebody just wants have those people. Say that again. Yeah, I don't think they're quite there yet. Even though we tell them if you wait till prices drop and demand goes up, you're gonna pay more. So I could shout that from the rooftops every day. <laughs> Patty, we need to find a way that we can get people to realize that in 2021, we were, you and I were chatting, and our biggest problem was people making, you know, 20 and 30 offers on the same property. And we had price wars, bidding wars, and that property could only be sold to one family. So there was 19 others that were disappointed and frustrated. And didn't Question get their house. Back to that yes. again. I think I think we're gonna go back to that. You you? Well, you know, Barbara Corcoran's calling for when interest rates drop that the buyers are gonna come out in droves. She's predicting a 10 to 15 percent increase in prices and similar demand to COVID. I don't think as crazy, but as soon as the buyers come, as soon as the rates drop, the buyers are gonna just flood the market. 10 to 15% increase, huh? Yeah, she came out maybe two months ago with that. Well, you know something, and you think about something like that, and you say, okay, well, if that's if if she's correct, and you think about a million dollar, over a million dollar median home price in Orange County, California, right? That's that's a hundred to hundred and fifty thousand dollars in appreciation. If and it's going to price some people out of the market that could otherwise buy now. I did a video on an $800,000 property because you're going to have, if you have even 10%, there's 80000 plus overbidding. Then we're back to appraisal gaps and the whole mess. Becomes a little more, more challenging. Thankfully, we've got solutions for all those um, with our lending team. But the bottom line here, we don't have the salute. Well, we don't have the solution for 20 people wanting to buy the same house. Right. <laughs> have a, uh, and I, I, Josh, do we even have the name of our? I, I know I thought we got a name for it. Our perfect offer. Um, I don't know. We, we, I'll have to find out where, what we did with that. But we actually did something showing how to get your offer accepted. And if Patty, if you're right, if Barbara Corcoran's right, we're gonna have to get into educating a lot of folks on how to do that perfect offer accepted, because it's a, it's gonna be a big issue. You know, trying for people to. To get that done, Patty, we gotta we gotta try and get some of these myths out of the way here. That that there's nothing for sale because there are homes for sale, but those people that actually take action are going to be, in my opinion, they're going to probably be rewarded handsomely. What do you think? Absolutely, they need to take advantage of the equity gain that's coming, rather than wait. And now you've got to wait to build equity because the after this big jump, it's going to slow down again. And I just ran the numbers for Orange County on the break. Active listings at this minute, we're sitting at 2,357. Now here are your opportunities. 843 price reductions, 863 that have been on the market over 30 days. Those are your buy down opportunities. Okay. Explain so the buy, what you mean by of, buy down opportunities. Explain what you mean by buy down opportunities, Patty. Instead of asking for, a, say they're at 800000 instead of coming in at eight sixty, wait, I did it right, 800000 coming in at seven we're going to ask for a seller credit that's going to pay towards the buyer's interest rate reduction. Yeah, and if you want to see something like that, we've, we've done a lot of different trainings on that. And we really want you to understand rsrbuydown.com, rsrbuydown.com. We did a training on that. 
And you'll be surprised if you do a $40,000, if you use the exact same $40,000 asking for a concession, you're going to come out tens of thousands of dollars ahead, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars ahead when you look at the cost of money over time. Because again, we're probably going to be able to get you know, one to one and a half percent below current market interest rates with that same that concession that's coming off the property price. So we're not going to have a problem there with the property value. Big issue right there. So rsrbuydown.com, we explain how that works. I think you'll really like that. Uh, you know, and, and and I did a YouTube video. Well, I ahead. did a YouTube video using that eight hundred thousand a price point that if you bought now at say seven and a half percent and you're at say five thousand, and then in versus waiting, now you're paying nine hundred thousand at a lower rate. It is a couple hundred dollars a month cheaper, but if you bought now, refinance later, like you just said, over the life of the loan, it was like $800 a month cheaper. $800 because a month. That's, advantage of the that's huge. Over the long haul. Yeah. But it's, so, it's confusing. So I'm going to actually go to your buy down. <laughs> <laughs> so there's two different issues that you just brought up there, Patty, that we can, we can chat about. So if it's going to bring your payment down 800 a month, well, what if you could afford that higher payment? Now you can afford a more expensive property that might be what you really wanted. Does that make sense? Yes. Right? So, so Versus instead, waiting and getting priced out of the market. Right. So you can go and get it instead of buying the – instead of going to a 760, if you're, if you're, if you're capped out on your ratios – then that's where the big benefit is going to come from is that you're going to be able to, instead of buying an $800,000 house, maybe you can buy an $850,000 house, get the same 5%, go go to eight ten uh, or $40,000 on your um, concessions, bring that interest rate down, which brings your payment down, which will get your uh, debt-to-income ratios. And I know that sounds uh, like a lot of confusing numbers. That's why you go and talk to experts. Because a lot of folks don't Absolutely. understand these strategies. Absolutely. We're gonna, I'm you gonna need a lender like you. Ron that is so well versed in this that is able to explain it to everybody's individual situation. That's the big thing, and, and I'm glad you brought that up, Patty. Because you know, you and I can do videos and, and exploitation explanations and tutorials, but until we get to talking to that individual, sitting down. Zoom or however, with that family, we're not going to get anywhere. It, it doesn't mean much because everything is so unique. You know, we talk about 800000 but if you've got a $400,000 budget, it's not going to help you at all. Right. What's your YouTube channel, Patty? Is it and easy that's to paramount. Find? It's almost like people saying yes or no to a house by the pictures. You right. 